ng bawat isa sigawan na yung mayanig kapag nag 3 points na bawat bayay di ba tatalo buong barangay ay suportado kahit ano ang mangyari sama-sama tayo Harliga Pilipinas Basketball League May labay nagkakaisa Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao Basketball na Ang bawat labay pinaghahandaan Kaya yung mayanig ang bakbakan Todo suporta ang lahat Sa kanya-kanyang kubunan Basketball na muna tayo Iwasan na ang mga bisyo Sports ang laging iisipin Sa droga ay huwag paalipin Buong bansa'y magsama-sama In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 MPBL na! MPBL na! Yan ang liga ng bawat Pilipino Sa Luzon, sa Visaya, sa Mindanao Kakakaba Dahil sa husay ng bawat isa Sigawan na yung mayanig Kapag nag 3 points na Bawat bayay di ba tatalo Buong barangay ay suportado Kahit ano ang mangyari Sama-sama tayo Basketball na muna tayo Iwasan na Ang laging iisipin Sa droga ay huwag paalipin Buong bansa'y magsama-sama In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 MPBL na! MPBL na! Yan ang liga ng bawat pinipin 
ABL Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League May labay nagkakaisa Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao Basketball na Ang bawat labay pinaghahandaan Kaya yung mayanig ang bakbakan Todo suporta ang lahat Sa kanya-kanyang kubunan Basketball na muna tayo Iwasan na ang mga bisyo Sports ang laging iisipin Sa droga ay huwag paalipin Buong bansa'y magsama-sama In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Kakakaba Dahil sa husay ng bawat isa Sigawan ay umayanig Kapag nag 3 points na Bawat bayay di ba tatalo Buong barangay ay suportado Kahit ano ang mangyari Sama-sama tayo Basketball na muna tayo Iwasan na ang mga Ang laging iisipin Sa droga ay huwag paalipin Buong bansa'y magsama-sama In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 MPBL na! MPBL na! Yan ang liga ng bawat Pilipino Sa Luzon, sa Bisaya, sa Pindana Liga Pilipinas Basketball League Ang bawat bayan ay sumasaya Kapag may labay nagkakaisa Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao Basketball na Ang bawat labay pinaghahandaan Kaya yung mayanig ang bakbakan Todo suporta ang lahat Sa kanya-kanyang kubunan Basketball na muna tayo Iwasan na ang mga bisyo Sports ang laging iisipin Sa droga ay huwag paalipin Buong bansa'y magsama-sama In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 MPBL na! Dahil sa husay ng bawat isa 
Sigawan ay umayanig kapag nag-3 points na Bawat bay ay di ba tatalo Buong barangay ay suportado Kahit ano ang mangyari, sama-sama tayo Liga Pilipinas Basketball League Ang bawat bayan ay sumasaya Kapag may labay nagkakaisa Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, basketball na Ang bawat labay tinaghahandaan Kaya yung mayanig ang pakbakan Todo suporta ang lahat sa kanya-kanyang kubunan games but really and daming gustong mangyari para sa Quezon but it did not materialize but this season boy this is gonna be very interesting Quezon Huskers lineup you see how deep it is Rodel Fuentes was recently the finals MVP in the run in the PSL Robin Ronya still there Will Gozum has returned but I'll give you one name LJ Gonzalez your thoughts yeah, I think he's gonna be something. LJ Gonzalez is gonna be a really good contributor para dito sa Quezon Huskers. I mean, given a Gabbanal, you know, you have Gabbanal, you have Domark Matelliano, and but LJ is gonna be on a different level this season for the Quezon Huskers. There you see LJ Gonzalez teaming up once more with Cyrus Torres, Rodel Gravera, and Simon Sandag when they were all together in that FEU program. But we also have to talk about the, the big guy at the middle for the Quezon Huskers, and that is... Will Gozum on his return in the MPBL. How can you describe his potential in this league? Well, napakaraming pwedeng gawin ni Will Gozum. He can actually play big in the middle. He can push the ball. He can, you know, leak, leak out and provide transition to their team. There's a lot of things that Will can actually do, lalo na dun sa energy coming off the bench. And he can also answer questions from our courtside reporter, Gianna Lianes. Gianna, take it away. Yes, before we get this game started, let's talk to Will Gozum of the Quezon Huskers. First of all, Will, congratulations dahil you guys got the championship in the recently concluded PSL. Paano to makakatulong sa inyong confidence now coming into the MPBL? Uh... Siyempre, uh, nag-boost yung confidence namin kasi uh, coming to championship and mga vets din yung mga nakalaban namin. And uh, isa, isa pa, uh, yung team bonding namin is sobrang... Uh, uh, dahil doon, uh, mas nagiging good yung bonding namin. Uh, I mean, best, best yung nagiging team bonding namin. So, ayun. Uh. And since you're coming in a little bit later dito sa season ng MPBL, ano ang magiging mensahe mo sa mga sumusuporta sa Quezon Huskers? Uh, sa mga sumusuporta sa Quezon Huskers, uh, support lang, keep on supporting us and enjoy the game. And ayun. Good luck to you and your team. Will goes in with the Quezon Huskers. Turning it over now to our Coliseum Barker, Miguel Pere, for the start of the game. 
action continues here at the Nueva Ecija Coliseum as we bring you the second game of our Saturday triple header between Valenzuela and Quezon. This is the 2024 Buenas Manny Pacquiao MPBL Season 6 presented by Extreme. Live on the official MPBL Facebook page, YouTube channel, MPTV Signal Channel 98, MPTV Channel 53 on Satellite and on Filipinas Live app. Here are the starters. First off, for Valenzuela Classic, VA Cargo. Starting at guard number 31, Nam De La Cruz. Also at guard number 18, Andre Armenon. At center, number 34, Alfonso Gotladera. At forward number 15, Mike Machon. And the other forward number 24, Dennis Santos. Valenzuela Classic VA Cargo is led by the team owner known as the Coach Grisman. Valenzuela City 2nd District Honorable Congressman Eric Martinez. Associate Head Coaches Aldrin Bonante. Assistant Coaches RJ Guevara, Jolly Alar, Kyle Umengan, and J.R. Villanueva. Assistant Team Managers J.B. Garcia. Team Manager Errol Francisco. Team consultant is Jerry Esplana. Co-team owner is Voltaire Ora. Now, the starting five for the Kazan Huskers. Starting at center, number 24, RJ Minerva. At guard, number seven, the Iceman, Tomark Matiliano. At forward, number five, Simon Sandagon. At guard, number 13, LJ Gonzalez. And the other forward, number 14, Cyrus Torres. Head coach for the Kansas Huskers is Eric Gonzalez. Assistant coaches Richie Dixon, Nash Rosella, Ed De La Torre, Luis Nolasco, Jonathan De Guzman, and Bernard De Guia. Team manager is attorney Don Capunan. Team owners are Presenting the starting fives of the game, brought to you by Buenas, Andre Armiñon, and De La Cruz, Monza Gotodera, Dennis Santos, and Mike Pachon for Val City. And on, and on the other end for the Quezon Huskers, it's LJ Gonzalez in his MPBL debut, teaming up with Domar Matiliano, RJ Minerva, Simon Zandagon, and Cyrus Torres. Three former FEU players being reunited here in this program of Quezon, after all, Coach Eric Gonzalez also comes from that MPU program. Let's see if Quezon can carry on its momentum from winning the PSL onto the MPBL. Thank you for joining us. This makes comments at your service alongside Coach Mike Perez and Gianna Llanes. Ooh, that's a risky pass leading on to a turnover for the Huskers. Andre Armignon. Nem de la Cruz. Alfonso Coladera, he seems to be losing more weight as each week goes by in the MPBL. That's a good sign. Santos shoving off Cyrus Torres. That's a charge. Yeah, kita ng kita in left hand na yon na guard off against kay Cyrus. But pag tiningin mo yung first two offensive sets, medyo nakikiramdam pa tanda lawan to against each other. Lalo na I guess on the side of Val City, they wanna see kung how they would attack the defense of the Kesan Huskers. Back with the black shirts, Minerva, Matiliano, onto LJ. Gonzalez going right. He will pull up and he will score. And to your point, Kanina, LJ Gonzalez is going to have a lot of good opportunities to rise up for the Huskers, especially with the teammates that he's got on this team. Good to see him in the MPBL. You know, one of the biggest adjustments, if not the biggest adjustment for every player in this league, is physicality. Which is something that LJ Gonzalez is used to. So personally, having covered him in the UAP for multiple years, I don't anticipate him having a problem in that department. Isa na sa mga players na gusto rin yung contact, no? And, you know, finds energy in the contact of the play. Gonzalez on the move. Good defense by Andre Armignon. And now LJ stepped out of bounds. 
And maganda niya, mapapabattle siya dito kay Andre Arminion, who also is one of the really good leaders in terms of assists para dito sa Valenzuela. Two games in a row, like what we mentioned earlier, 10 assists in all. And a couple of those in the crucial stretch of that game against Pangasinan. He even added one more in their previous outing, 11 in total on their home game. Mike Mashon misses, and here comes Quezon. Up ahead, Domark Matiliano. Once upon a time, he was our three-point king before Orlan Momar. Ball out of bounds in favor of Quezon. Kaya very, I guess it's interesting to see the tandem or the palitan ng uh, tao nito si Domark at saka ni Jidel Fuentes. Both actually very lethal scorers from the outside. Nice backdoor cut. Matiliano will score. Matiliano sabi niya, hindi lang ako umi-score sa labas, kaya ko rin kumat sa loob. And similar to how Judel Fuentes plays, you know, he takes oh, whatever opportunity you give him. Now the ball is with Mike Mason, looking for a teammate. Then De La Cruz, eight on the shot clock. Pull up and the make. Ganda ng pagkakahold ni Mike Mason dun sa screen na yan, allowing enough space for that shot in the middle. We're back with LJ Gonzalez. Screen not used. LJ, nice drive and kick. Matiliano misfires. Rebound, Dennis Santos. And here comes Andre Arminion. Trying to play point guard. Ooh. It's an illegal screen. Domark went down. Yeah, as he, as he was trying to do a dribble handoff, eventually hit out uh, Domark. That is good sportsmanship from Andre Arminion. You be the, the judge, Coach Mike. Yeah, definitely moved on the path of uh, Matelliano right there. But like you said, maybe he not apologize. Naman. It's nothing intentional right there. It's really just momentum. 4 to 2 now. Two and a half minutes gone by. Cyrus Torres to RJ Minerva. Nice cross. Great footwork. RJ Minerva, pagka ikaw nagbabantay dyan, kailangan ready ka sa mga perimeter shots niyan. And even when he puts the ball on the floor, you gotta be able to drop coverage and, uh, you know, beat him to that spot. 62 now, Dennis Santos. Good defense by Minerva. Rebound, Quezon. And here comes LJ Gonzalez. LJ using the screen. The roller is Sandagon. A miss. Mashon gets the board. Pero kita mo, napaka-fluid ng movement nito ng Quezon Huskers. Alam na nila kung ano yung option na pupuntahan nila once that ball gets wrong. Dennis right here, connecting for three. He had two three-pointers out of five attempts in their previous outing. But in the opener by Val City against Zamboanga, he was the absolute stunner in Pangasinan. Scoring 20 points in two quarters. Well, in that game against Pangasinan, grabe yung three points rin yan sa corner. That was a game changer in that point of that, in that stretch of that fourth quarter. Oh, oh what a play. Minerva connecting with Simon Zandagon. So that's an NU to FEU connection. Grabe yung connection. 5-8. After all, Quezon has been together in a significant amount of time in the offseason. Nice pass. Sorry, miss for Gotladera. Ponzo is blocked Ooh. by Minerva. Recovery. One more pass. Dennis Santos misses. Batted inside. Now it's Quezon with possession. LJ Gonzalez pushes. Kick out Cyrus Torres all day. Bombs away. Well, that's, that's a sign for the other teams that will go up against the Quezon Huskers. We're going to battle you out on the on the boards, but as soon as we get the other way, you, you got to be ready to defend against us. I did tell you, Coach Mike, that MJ Gonzalez is a part of your team. It will be his show, and he's definitely uh, so used to pushing that basketball. And he's na Cyrus Torres, na Simon Sandagon. So, Knowing their spots is such a thing already for Quezon. Side of stories again. This time he misfired. You have really good players that actually know how to gel and perform together as a unit. You know, very willing to contribute whenever needed. Huskers. Gonzalez off of the rebound. 11 to 5. Two-man game up top. Gonzalez splits. Here's Sandagon against Mashon. Back to LJ. 10 on the shot clock. He escapes. 
No basket, but there's the putback by Simon Sendagon. Actively trailing that attempt by LJ Gonzalez. How about LJ giving up the ball soon as he saw that two guys were on him? Yeah. 13 to 5 now. Ponzo Gotadera. Three players are about to check in for Coach Eric Gonzalez. And two on the other end for Congressman Eric Martinez. Mason working with Dennis Santos. Two on the shot clock. Dennis back to Mike. Two pointer. Just in time, you floater near Mike Mashion. 13 to 7 now. Four and a half minutes remaining in the first quarter. Simon Sandagon. Now they go to Domark Matiliano. Minerva, no high low. LJ. Kick out. Nice pass. Cyrus Torres. Short. Arminion, two on two. He's working with Nem de la Cruz, Arminion. There's the trailer, Gotladera, basket and one. How would you like about uh, Arminion? I mean, you just keep running with him and go to open spaces, and he will find a way to get you that ball. And uh, rewarding Gotladera right there with that finish. There's the patience by Andre Arminion. Let's see. That's his second dime so far in this game. It seems like he will be able to reach double figures again in terms of assists, but we have a long way to go. A lot can happen as Robin Ronio checks in, joining Alvin Abundo, Thomas Torres, Christian Bunyag, and Will Gozum. Now let's go to Gianna Llanes. Nerve-wracking ang ginamit na salita ni Congressman Eric sa huling panalo ng Valenzuela. Pero a huge round of applause daw kay Dennis Santos at ang exposure to make the last few shots of the game. Another star that night was Oren Katakutan who is not playing today as he's feeling under the weather. Kwento ni Kong Eric na aware siya sa lakas ng Quezon, ang opponents nila ngayon, anticipating this to be a good game. He shares, I know they just won the PSL championship but hopefully they're feeling some sort of fatigue and we get them on an off night. Pinagahan and the namin itong matchup na ito for the past five days. Migs and Coach Mike? That is actually a good point. Quezon has been busy. And also, they've been busy traveling. That final series with Nueva Ecija, of course, mm -hmm. uh, took them to Palayan City and to Quezon <laughs> Province. Back and forth sila nun. So let's see if uh, that will actually factor in against Quezon in this game. On the other hand, it's Valchalka with a basketball. Where can they go? Yeah, major matagal yung development ng offense nila. Not much um, ball movement right here. Seven on the shot clock, tough shot. No conversion for Dennis Santos. And here comes Thomas Torres. Quezon is up by three. Screen by Will Gozum. Thomas Torres thought about it. Oh, nice man. pass to Gozum. Look at that pass. Sobrang peg to the pass for you to drop it right in the middle. Also, the right amount of English for Gozum to convert on the other end. It's Chauka giving a three-pointer to Val City. Well, si Val Chauka is just mga ano offensive threat, I guess, na kailangan mag-perform solid para dito kay Coach Alvin Morante because he pretty much can light you up from the outside. Val Chauka had two points in their previous outing. It was zero out of three from downtown. So he's off to a good start. Alvin Ronio, three on the shot clock. Alvin Abundo, the drive, there's a foul against Krista Chavez. What kind of shot clock we talked about? about it. As this play of the game is brought to you by Buenas, there's the beautiful feed by Thomas Torres onto the rolling Will Gozum for the reverse layup. Maganda ng pagkakaribu yun ng cut ni Will Gosom. He understood that uh, Christy Chavez was actually on his back and really just went a back door instead of pursuing yung, yung pin down on the corner. Pero ang ganda rin talaga ng basa na yung bang klase. You're about to bring up something about the shot clock, is that right? Yeah, as the shot clock is going down, we talked about it. The, na bumababa rin yung, yung quality ng shots mo if the shot goes ah, yes. lower, di ba? But kung nakikita mo ang performance nitong Quezon Huskers, there really is no rattle. Hindi nagpapanig. They understand na, you know, we have a system in place that can actually get people in places. They are looking like a well-oiled machine as now Rodel Gravera is on the floor. This is a big lineup for Quezon. Remember, last yeah. year Gravera had to play the five position. Right. Chauka. And there's the length of Quezon. 
and one guy I'm happy to see back is Christian Bunya. I mean, uh, yep, former Sun One Night. Yeah, he's got really good height, really good basketball IQ, and I'm just very happy for him to be back here. And he has a good matchup right now against the Palam, who played for Vico last year. Chauka, another jumper. Chauka, very familiar yung dalawang yan, kasi nagkalaban din yan in some of the collegiate games that they had before. Abundo goes to Gozum against Krista Chavez. Backdoor cut, Rivera intercepted, CJ Payawal. Two guys up ahead, the Chavez, then De La Cruz. That's a shot, in and out. What a nice start for us. Yeah, very quick activity for both these teams. Very intentional on their offensive sets and really making it difficult for both to score. Good help defense right there by Lepalam. Coming from that CSP program, this three-point shot is brought to you by Extreme One Stop Shop Appliances. That was like a fadeaway three for Val Chauka. He made right. it look so easy. And now we have Darren Mandigas appearing for the first time in the sixth season of the MPBL. He was the absolute star for Val City last year. At saka ito si Val Chauka, streak shooter to. He, he can shoot off a dribble, off a catch, off a cut. Uh, he's very capable in finishing those threes and shots from the outside. He did that last year a lot with Bacolod City. Thomas Torres pass inside. Good recognition. Gozum, he was stripped. 17-16. Chauka on the move. There's the cutter. Manligas kick out. Payawal, look at the movement. Yeah. CJ able to tap it onto Ladis Lepalam, who now scores. Well, these guys very unselfish five right here for Val, Val City and really trying to find an open man and uh, then making the decision whether to attack or not or give it another opportunity. Under 90 seconds remaining in the opening frame. Will Gozum hand off to Thomas Torres. There's a mismatch inside. Gravera is trying to seal. Good defense by Manligas. On the other end, mismatch. A three-pointer for Topeng. Lagrama misfires. Offensive rebound, Christian Bunyag, same angle. Different result for Topeng Lagrama. Well, you could tell really the offensive philosophy in the Quezon Huskers. Offensive rebound, kick it out, get a three. Right there, Bunyag out to Topeng Lagrama for that knockdown three. 20 to 18, both teams are shooting over 40% from the field. Quezon is actually at 60%. Chris De Chavez misfires. Rebound, CJ Payawal, basket and one. How about the activity of uh, CJ right here against the mobility of the bigs? You know, hindi, hindi ganun kadali kumuha ng bola rin dito sa mga Quezon Huskers. I mean, you got Christian Buonyag, Will Gosong. I mean, medyo mahirap din yan. At kung patuloy kang magiging masipag, that's what's gonna happen. I might say, the intensity in this first quarter is impressive. It already feels like we're in the second half. Oh, yeah. Payawal, bonus converted. And we have a timeout before we continue. Jason Apiso is in the game, by the way, for Coach Eric Gonzalez. It is 21 to 20, 46 seconds to go in the first quarter. There you see our most valuable player in the second season of the MBBL, Gab Banal, formerly of the Bahor City Strikers. He will now be representing the Quezon Huskers. Not today, but in the near future, that's for sure. Now he looks over to that huddle of Coach Eric Gonzalez. It is 21 to 20 with 45 seconds remaining before the end of one. A nice matchup between Quezon and Val City. Ang dami mga piyesa din nagdag dito sa Quezon Huskers. Pero itong gab banal nung pumasok, napakalaking bagay niya. On the guard position, on the bigs. I mean, he's just a really good processor of uh, where the game is and what situations to, to take. We're back with Topeng Lagrama against Daryl Manligues. Off of the horns, Lagrama continuing to entertain everybody. Rivera, drive and kick, Thomas Torres. That's good. <laughs> Well, that only happened because Gravera is actually a threat on the ball, bringing the ball on the floor, and forgot about that corner guy. 
Nice escape by Daryl Maniguez. De Palham was ready for the putback slam. So Daryl will proceed to the line. There's a pushing foul called against Thomas Torres. You see this really good drive right here. Couldn't help out on the corner. Switch was late. Maybe just a switch on that three. Maniguez is now at the stripe. First one is no good. I would like to congratulate him though because recently uh, he just got a son. Mm. The name is JD Tyler. Congratulations to the Mandigas family. Congratulations. That's why he missed their first two games. Okay. 23 22, topping Nagrama. Three second differential. This is a nice matchup. I don't want a ball screen. We want a single ISO here. Ten on the shot clock now. Here's the screen. Topeng. Two-man game up top. There's the roll. Bit of a risky pass. Ball out of bounds in favor of Val City. So napahalakim bagay na rin ng minachuni tayo si Topeng Lagrama. Kita mo he wants to take on on that situation, be the decision maker. It's just that that roll didn't come at a spot that he wanted to pass. Eight seconds, Val Chauka, he know that he is the gunner for Val City. He gives it up, Lepalam, off to the right. And the last second he for Quezon. That's no good for Rodel Gravera. What a high octane first frame. A high octane first frame at a very good shooting for percentage. 60% for Quezon or 42% for, for Val City. And really just because of the man and the ball movement, we've seen a lot of really good plays between Val City and uh, Quezon. And this promises to be a very exciting match altogether after close first quarter. And this is only the second game for today. All right. What a day it is for MVBL basketball. There's a drive and kick onto Thomas Torres. A couple of players contributing off the bench for the Quezon Huskers. Bench scoring is 12 to 10 so far. This end of the first quarter score is brought to you by Game X, the official online ending partner of the MPBL. The first and original online basketball ending sa Pinas. Happy ending na hashtag Game X Sports. Commissioner Kenneth Duremdes, Head of Security, Rudy Distrito, Head of Basketball Operations, Emma Oreta, and Head of Referees, George Maxino, are at the sideline. Joining myself, Mix Gomez, Coach Mike Perez, and Diana Llanes at your service for today. Nice spin by Yawal sent back up. Here's Darren Manliguez, Manlige, driving kick to Chavez for three. The Chavez, Val Chauka, both of them really good uh, uh, shot makers. But really, again, going back to the 60% and 40% shooting up between these two teams, really shows the high octane first quarter that we had. In as much as Kesson is a plus three in assist, well, Val City made it up with a plus three in terms of steals. Great defense by Darren Manliguez, just keeping his hands up. And here comes Val City, Manliguez. What a sequence for him. Isa sa nagustuhan ko dito sa Val City, actually when we covered that game against Pangasinan, is that very forceful yung lahat ng movement nila. Drives, kicks on the ball, and so it, it appears to be very intentional. Napakalaki ng confidence sa ginagawa nila. And so players know where to go and what to do when they get that ball. And even off ball, they know what to do. This free throw is brought to you by Extreme Appliances, ang subok at kompletong appliance brand ng Pilipinas. It's one thing to have recruited good talents in the offseason. It's another to actually get them going with mm -hmm. those forceful, forceful and intentional movements on the floor. Mm -hmm. That's progress for Val City as now CJ Payawal is called for a foul. And you have to credit that to Coach Aldrin Morante in getting the players to buy in those uh, system and the schemes. Nila, di ba? Sakto yung pitik ni Direk Freddy dun eh. Oh, ma. <laughs> Line ko yung dalawa ni uh, Coach Mike Perez. 25-23. Here's Rodel Gravera. Up top, Will Gozum against the Palam. They're very familiar with each other after all coming from CSP. No basket for Will. Cross court pass. Val Chauka. His three pointer will drop. 
in those two separate offensive sets, we see that both know what to do. Right there, ni reject yung uh, zoom action, na walan, di po masket, kabila swing bola, take nan three. Sa Val City naman. That's five threes already in this game for Val City out of ten tries, 50%. On the other end, Javera misfires from downtown. Offensive rebound and the putback for Will Gozo. Yan ay pinag-usapan natin kay Will kanina. I mean, inside and out, up on the high post to be the decision maker. Kaya niya lahat gawin niya na contribute. Val with another three. He check, ball tapped away in favor of Quezon. LJ Gonzalez will now return for Jason of Piso. This is a fast lineup. Mm -hmm. You can see the height disparity as the Gama will play the point. LJ is the two, Matiliano is the three, Gravera is the four, and Gozum is the five for the Quezon Huskers. Even the bigs are real quick then. Yes. Here's Coach Eric Gonzalez. A lovely jacket, by the way, rocking that orange. Gravera. Handoff. Nope. Good denial by Darren Maliguez up top. Will Gozum with his colorful shoes. Denied again. Maliguez on the move. CJ Payawal all the way oh, for two. Baskin and one. Antum palang siya sa three points. Gusto na niyang ilay up. Eh. You know, you see that intentional move. And this fast break of the game is brought to you by New Star. Win to the max. Maniguez with a beautiful stop. Pass ahead. Payawal able to outsmart LJ Gonzalez. By the way, those two are familiar with each other. Batting in the UAAP. Now we go back to Gianna Llanes. We don't consider ourselves champions here. Yun daw ang mindset ng Quezon Huskers ngayong unang laro nila sa MPBL season ito. The Huskers only had a two-day break after winning the PSL championship dahil napansin nila sa mga recent games dito sa MPBL that teams really beefed up their lineup. In fact, Val Chauca and CJ Payawa of Valenzuela used to play for them in the PSL. Kaya that is a testament alone daw para sa Huskers kung gaano kalakas ang kalaban nila ngayon. In addition, ang finals MVP nila nung, F nung PSL na si Judel Fuentes will not be playing for Quezon today as he is serving a suspension from last season. Back to you guys. Thank you, Gianna. So last season, in the last game of Zamboanga, Fuentes was called for a technical foul and an unsportsmanlike foul. Usually, pag ganun, automatic ejection, mm -hmm. automatic one-game suspension afterwards. Because it was their last game last year, mm -hmm. it has translated onto the sixth season of the MPBL. But back to what Gianna said about Payawal and Chauka. On the other end, parang naging uh, instant scouting yun for Val City. Oh, yeah. Naging insider sila in a way. May sarili silang intel after yes. you know, having experienced uh, handling those guys. Nice pass. Torres, couple of dribbles. Leaner, no conversion. The Chavez got the board. And here comes Val Chauka, the former Quezon Husker. On to Daryl Maniguez. Up top, the Chavez back to Val, hounded by LJ Gonzalez. Another nice matchup, Adamson yeah. versus FEU. Chauka, driving kick. The Chavez will shoot it. He's blocked. Good defense by Sandagon. And here's the recovery. Le Palam turns around. That's a miss. Well, he had to create shot clock winding down. Pero kita mo yung uh, confidence uh, shooting ni Chris De Chavez from the outside, ni Val Chauka. There's a push. Yeah. Maniguez frustrated because he was really doing his best to try to contain Will Gozo. Uh, na he was in trouble at that moment. Now, this lucky fan of the game is brought to you by Buenas. Another three-pointer for Val Chauka. Here you see the bow and arrow. Mula sa likod ng bench ng Val City. They're enjoying the action here in Palayan City. We'll take a short break. 31-27.
Coach Mike, why don't you talk about J.R. Kinyahan? What do you think his addition would mean for Val City? Well, first off, yung experience niya, no? I mean, alam naman natin kung gaano ka veterano na itong si J.R. Kenyan. And secondly, a little bit more force underneath, especially in fast break. I mean, parang may panapad ka na kala Shaq Taganas, big out, quick fast break, and what have you. And we have Andre Anbernion in there leading it. Magandang uh, combination din yan for Val City. There you have it. He's not present to play. Well, he is here, but he will not be playing for Val City sometime soon. We'll wait for his arrival on the court as CJ Payawal was able to score. Thomas Torres up top to Will Gozum. They go back to Thomas against Val Chauka. Screened by Will. 11 on the shot clock. Ooh, there's a foul against Chauka. I can't help but feel for the guards of Val City who are trying their best to try to deny the bigs of Quezon once the switch happens. Actually, pag nag-switch sila, parang guard rin yung binabantayan nila kasi halos guard skills oriented rin yung mga bigs ng, ano, ng Quezon. Eh. So they can put the ball on the floor and move around just like a guard would. Off of the baseline inbound, here's Robin Ronio against CJ Payawal. 33-27, Quezon is down. Five on the shot clock. Thomas oh, no. Torres, there's the three and the miss. Rebound, Val City. Ooh, some action off the ball. Robin Ronio is called for the block. Contact right there with uh, Payawal, I guess, as they were trying to go the other side of the floor. Pero kanina nakita natin mix yung switch on the defense and that middle ball screen. Either way, they had the decision to take the shot or pull it inside to Will Gosson. Either way, it was a mismatch. Sideline inbound. Maniguez will get the ball back from Lepalam. Now he drives. Now this leads in and he scores. I'm just really glad too for Ladis Lepalam to be performing light here this way para dito sa Val City after his performance in Bicol. Really good follow-up to how he did the previous season. Oh, he surprised a lot of people last year, especially with his length. Mm -hmm. Manlig is on oh. the move! Wow! Turn the boosters on. Have you have the Manlig. I want to see him match up against LJ Gonzalez one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. Talk about speed, talk about strength, talk about defense for Daryl Manliguez. The father himself making maybe JD proud from home. Now it is a 10-point advantage for Val City. We are live on Facebook, YouTube, on Filipinas Live, and on MPTV Channel 98 on Signal TV. Speaking of Signal TV, our supervising producer, Direct AB Solis, is celebrating his birthday today. Direct AB, happy, happy birthday to you. And again, thank you for your leadership and your service for our Filipino basketball community, among others. Rain Tixon is watching at the sideline, now a part of the social media team of the Quezon Huskers. Speaking with Lander Cannon, who is one of the new additions as well of Quezon in the offseason. Now we're back. Topeng Lagrama, the pull-up and the make. Yeah, Quezon immediately not wasting any time right there. Every time they go to a particular layer of their offense, immediate execution. Walang nag stick yung bola. Halfway done in the second quarter. Val City is winning this so far, 15 to 6. Ladis Lepalam again with a soft touch. Good range from that uh, dunker spot. And, you know, just enough height and very difficult to challenge that shot. That's six points in eight minutes of play for Ladis so far. LJ Gonzalez misfires in the corner. Good effort by Payawal on the rebound. That's a sixth board to go alongside eight points. 
in this game. Manligas, risky pass. Back with Valchauka. Two-man game up top. Pick and pop right here. Payawal. It's the Chavez, top of the key. That's a three. That pick and pop action is almost automatic between Chris De Chavez and Val Chaco. And any guy for that matter doing a uh, screen action with Chris De Chavez is so potent with hitting shots from outside. That's two threes in this game for Chris De Chavez. The Grama kick out Robin Ronyo, a known shooter. No good. Rebound Christian Bunyag. That's stripped away. Back with Daryl Maligas. Two screens. Daryl setting up to play. Manliguez onto Chauka. Turn around. No good. Here's LJ Gonzalez. Gonzalez zigzagging. Ooh. A miss. Rebound. Put back. No good for Bunyag. And there's a battle. That is risky. Ooh. Ooh. Bodies on the floor. You know, I was really concerned about the shoulder of Daryl Manliguez. It was close to being hyperextended, but everybody looks okay. That's a good sign. And the referees are calling jump ball in favor of Quezon. Yeah, medyo iba yung nakita natin kanina dun. Almost a hyperextension on uh, Daryl. A good thing he, he's come out there really good. How about this missed shot? Ito yung action sa ilalim. Yun. Talag, medyo... Manuori pa lang natin from our spot, mabigat eh. Yun lang yung nakaangat na braso. That's four players, two from Val City and two from Quezon. Getting a bit clingy here inside the Nueva Ecija Coliseum. Nobody's injured, that's the most important thing. Baseline inbound for Robin Ronyo. Well, we see Val City right now up 42 and 29. A lot of it has to do with fast break points. Uh, they've been running every time they have an opportunity and they've been converting really good. Samantalang ito naman kaya, they're look, really looking more to their half court sets. Fast break points, Tali, 8 0 so far in favor of Valenzuela. Topeng, La Grama for three. Talagang, they're really just keeping everything very simple in the half court set. And I guess Kesson is training right now, but I'm sure they, they know where they are and they're very capable of coming back. They got a lot of uh, time here. Eight points already for Toping Lagrama in this game. Payawal, step back three, that's short. Rebound, there's the pass to Chauka. Oh, three that pointer. Looked, that looked good the moment it left his hand. Val really can stroke you from the outside. That's 12 points now for Val Chauka. Four three-pointers to his name. Sandagon answers back. Ginagawa ng Huskers, talagang atake lang ng atake. Trying to get numbers in, meaning trying to get two defenders on the primary ball handler and finding open guys that would free. If you don't, then if he has an opportunity, he will finish it. 45-34, that's a foul on Simon Sandagon. Now, the three-point shot is brought to you by Extreme One Stop Shop Appliances. Andre Arminion getting yet another assist on that delivery to Val Chauka. So Andre now has three times in this game. And all these seven three-point three-pointers made by uh, Val City has really forced the defense to close out longer as opposed to earlier, no, hindi masyado nakaka basket from three. And now they gotta be aware of who's the guy's free from outside. Oh, nice pass. Fonzo Gotladera just couldn't score. Well defended by Sandagon, and now it's Alvin Abundo, hounded by CJ Payawal. Sandagon almost walked. Backdoor, great anticipation by Fonzo Gutladera. Dal City up by 11, Andre Arminion. You want to post up here? It's Andre needing a teammate. The Chavez, screen. There's the pop, Arminion, wide open. Off to the left. Offensive rebound and the putback for CJ Payawal. CJ's got 10 points in the game and he's really just been out there trying to get loose balls, getting offensive rebounds and making those shots. That's seven boards, four from the offensive end for CJ Payawal. As now Val City forces a turnover. Let's see the replay. Uh, look at that missed shot. Payawal going after it and really converting going glass. You know, gusto mo, yung energy na binibigay niya dito. It's been very consistent so far all throughout this game. 
95 seconds remaining before halftime. The oh. Chavez, ooh, uh -oh. that was a quick release. No basket, one more chance for Val City. Arminion on to Chris, back to Andre. Dennis Santos against Robin Ronio. Six on the shot clock. Santos, tough defense right there. Yeah. Very physical, a lot of contact from Robin. And, and see Dennis kept, you know, turning his body, finding an open area where he can operate. And almost looking like a KD guy, you know? Uh, as he was going to that uh, post up. And even when he caught it on the three, alamo threat na kagad siya, kasi meron siyang range. Well, after all, Dennis Santos did come off of PBA 3x3. Mm -hmm. Alam naman natin sa 3x3, you get to develop a lot of skills. Right. Tatlo lang kayo dun. Tsaka, I guess maganda rin yung, yung stamina na pinapakita nito ni, ni Dennis, even at that Pangasinan game. And again, I guess it really goes back to the 3x3 games that he's played. And Gianna did mention, Congressman Eric Martinez is proud of him, especially with his presence for Val City. Dennis Santos played 29 minutes in the previous outing as Dem de la Cruz returns. And there's that well-deserved round of applause for CJ Payawal. 48-35. Jason Apiso against Chris De Chavez. Apiso, handoff to Alvin Abundo. Almost a backcourt violation. 10 on the shot clock. Sandago in trouble. Kick out. Apiso for three. Short. Rebound, Dennis Santos. He brings down the ball. Andre Arminion. 50 seconds. Two man game up top. But the Dera, nice spin. Ponzo just couldn't score. Back with Quezon, LJ Gonzalez. Oh, he can shake off yeah. Chris De Chavez. Let's see what he can do. Let's see if Chris is going to be up to this. The cross, the foul, basket, and one. Woo. Actually, even Chris De Chavez knew that he was in trouble. Yeah. And yung separation via that contact that he initiated, LJ pretended going left, instead finished right, initiated that contact, strong enough to finish going glass. Alam na niya, may contact na parating, you know? And also, uh, we did talk about the physicality that he's used to. So Gonzalez now has four points with five rebounds in this game. The free throw is not converted. Good effort by Opiso, but he tapped the ball to the wrong guy. 49-36, 11 second differential. Andre Arminion, working with the Chavez. Andre still has it. He drives, turnaround shot. That is good. The high looper. And how much more can you? What more can you ask from an Andre Arminion? I mean, he's been feeding off guys. If you guys don't have that chance or you're not open, I'm going to be the one to be the point of attack. 15-point game. Val City looking good. Eight seconds. LJ drives. LJ is fouled. Two plus one again. I mean, length of the floor. Ganong kalayo. You give him time to create. Downhill, medyo mahirap if you're going to cover him like that. And look at that. Enough separation and enough body strength to finish against the bigger guys. But he also has to finish from the free throw line. We have a timeout with 6.4 seconds remaining. Let's see if this will ice LJ Gonzalez, 51 to 38. But if you're Val City, I'm sure you're proud of this start. Without CJ Kataputan, who's feeling under the weather, as per Gianna Llanes. Without JR Kinyahan, who's not yet ready to play as of yet for uh, Val City. They're looking good. And there you see some fans inside the Nueva Ecija Coliseum, slowly but surely. They are piling up inside this venue because later on, the Rice Vanguards will be defending their home court against Quezon City, Toda Action. Who, by the way, have improved their lineup as well here in the sixth season of the MPBL. Here's the bonus for LJ Gonzalez. He is 0 out of 1 so far from the stripe. Free throw is good. Getting the bounce. Thomas Torres will check in for LJ. The difference is 12. Six seconds to go. 
Ken De La Cruz rolls the ball onto Andre Arminion. Andre driving quickly. Ooh, risky pass. Dennis Santos for three. No good, but what a play that was for Val City. Yeah, and Andre Arminion tried to finish strong towards the rack, slowed down that step, and then kicked it out. But a missed three right there by Santos. In lead na ito ng Val City is a lot to do with uh, their energy in the first two quarters. Now this halftime score is brought to you by Game X, the official online ending partner of the MPBL, the first and original online basketball ending sa Pinas. Happy ending na. Hashtag Game X Sports. And now we lead into you our Buenas Player of the Week, the living legend of the MPBL. about resurrection. <laughs> if this guy resurrects in the MPBL, imagine. Oh, Margie, no resurrection needed. He has been consistent for years already. Marquis is actually going to be a huge topic for us in this whole night. Yes, Mix, kasama ko nga ang pinakabagong paranyake, Patriot, walang iba kung hindi si Marquis. Mark, historically, lahat ng team na naging part ka ay nakapasok ng playoffs. Ito ba yung challenge mo ngayon sa sarili mo? Hindi naman, ha? talagang ano lang, eh, ginagawa lang ako ang instrumento ni Daddy God na kung saan team makapunta, uh, lagi lang siyang, yun, uh, dinadala lang talaga siya lagi kasi siya yung, kumbaga siya yung lakas namin at saka, wala talaga imposible sa kanya kahit hindi ganun wala na iniwala sa amin pero andyan si Daddy God magtulong-tulong kami lahat wala imposible sa kanya still gunning for the playoffs which might be a bonus to the mind of Marky but he will play very hard day in and day out with his leadership to lead it's Escandor who now goes back door good defense by Paranaque Marky again a testament of his leadership and hard work fighting for that ball on the ground just saw a fiery start for this team this new squad of marquee speaking of double double machines marquee now has 11 points and six rebounds he started off very well in this game there you see him his leadership his way of playing is what you've been seeing that is lacking on the side of Paranaque. Oh, oh. You, you see the magiging go to the line who will who will talk to the pen on the shot clock Marquis, and uh, there you go. He apologized for not shooting it in their previous possession. Now he gets some retribution. Oh, uh, again, the patience running that offense as a three-pointer for Marquis. Oh, yeah. Continues to be perfect from the field. Three-pointer, no good for Francis. Tempra, oh, he hit Marquis. Inaayos na ni Marquis yung uh, hit niya doon sa muka. Eh, nakuha, natapik pa rin yung bola. Eh. Eh, Nakadepensa pa rin siya. Oh, oh. <laughs> right arm. Marquis only needed one game to prove his worth once more. And his statement, Coach Louis, oh. as what you said, liga niya pa rin to. Liga niya pa rin to. And at center, number 83, Mark G. Shot clock winding down. Manalang out to Marquis. One on the shot clock. Marquis, second three-point shot of the game. Pocket pass to Mark. Intercepted by Wilson. He has Cruz ahead of the oh, back. Chased wow. down by Marquis. But contact downstairs. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. It's crazy how he's still able to make these kinds of plays on the run, chasing down an even faster player in Mark Cruz. Mark Yee sets the screen. Zello sets up Mark Yee. Gets it to go. Double-double already. Para kay Mark Yee. Sorella with Sarau in front of him. Parito wants it against Mark Yee. Man. That's just experience for you. Oh, wow. Did you see that defense by Mark Yee? Gave that enough separation, allowing Parito to spin and eventually tipping that ball away from him. 
But what was more impressive to me, Coach, was the timing on how he oh, pulled yeah. the chair. That's right. Sa tulong ng Panginoon, wala taglayang imposible para makuha ang panalo na to. And then, uh, lahat po ng mga, ano, mga fans ng Paranaque na sumusuporta sa amin, uh, kahit hindi naiiniwala yung iba, pero wala talaga imposible sa Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat po. Congratulations, Mark. I'll let you celebrate with your family. Our best player of the game, Marky of the Paranaque Patriots. He had 13 points, pero yung impact mo was more than those 13 points. And it will all be worth it as you get some victories like this. Marky would have been the other guy to have gotten that best player of the game award. 18 points, 18 rebounds. Boy, is this his league or what? He's very excellent for who might just be the greatest of all time. I hope that you enjoyed that video of one of our MPBL favorites, Mark. His performance so far this season. We will be keeping track on the other players' performance throughout the entire season. Nail ngayon nagbabalik po ang Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League. It is halftime of our second game for today, and it's between Valenzuela and Quezon Province. The score is 51 to 39 in favor of Valenzuela. Ako po si Gianna Lianas at kasama ko ngayon ang mga representatives of Signal, Sir Charles Kahokom, who is the territory sales manager of Signal TV in Aurora and Nueva Ecija, and Sir Paul Sunglao, operation manager of Fixels Telecom. Sir Charles, I will start with you po. Anong sulit sayang offer para sa mga satellite subscribers ang available po today dito sa MPBL? Para sa mga nanonood dito sa arena, pwede niyong mapanood ang MPBL sa satellite. Subscribe na at may buy one, take one, load promo kami para sa inyo. Kaya bili na. Ano-ano naman po ang mapapanood sa Satellite Sakto Load 149? Sulit talaga ang panonood pag nag kayo ng Satellite Sakto Load 149 dahil unang-una, mapapanood ninyo ang matitinding laban sa MPBL sa MPTV Channel 53. Bukod pa dito, marami ring movie channels tulad ng Celestial Movies Pinoy, Cinema One Kids, channels na tagalize tulad ng DreamWorks at International Entertainment channel tulad ng Warner TV. Kaya, registered na o bumili ng load mula sa Pixel, Telecom and Accessories. Maraming salamat Sir Charles ngayon naman. Sir Paul, paano po makakapag-subscribe or makakabili ng load ng mga gustong manood ng MPBL at marami pang palabas sa satellite? Uh, punta lang po kayo sa Pixel's Telecom and Accessories. Mabibili po ang satellite sa halagang 2190 May kasama na po siyang pre-2 uh, months load. Uh, matatagpuan po si Pixel Telecom sa number 19, Barangay Mantile, Bungabo, Nueva Ecija. At sa 808 Building, Maharlika Highway, Barangay Concepcion, Cabanatuan City. Maraming salamat Sir Charles and Sir Paul. Ang balitang basketball na ito ay hitid sa atin ng Satellite, the official regional broadcast partner of the MPBL. Tutok lang sa MPTV Channel 53, available sa Satellite Sakta Load 149 and up. Magbabalik po ang Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League.
It is halftime for Valid City versus Quezon. The score is 51 to 39 after a 29 to 16 second quarter outburst by Valenzuela against the Huskers. Coach Mike, your numbers. Well, actually, after nag start yung uh, nag end yung first quarter, 23-22, seven point run para dito sa Val. And a lot of it has to do with three point makes, especially from Val Chao, Chris De Chavez, and that really a lot of contributions from the bench. Payao really very forceful inside and uh, pag tinignan mo yung fast break 8 versus 0 and a lot of that has to do with the turnovers that the Val City forced on uh, Quezon that's a 10 turnovers that they forced getting 11 points out of it yan ang naging resulta sa depensa nitong Val City what a response by Valenzuela with all the hype that we built for the Quezon Huskers coming into the 6th season of the MPBL Darren Manigas is back this is his first game in the season with Val City he has a new baby but the way he plays continues to be at a high for the white shirts Val Chalk already has 4 threes to his name that's a part of the 37 bench points that we saw in the first two quarters for Valenzuela. Payawal also coming off the bench. He's in double figures with 10 points and 7 rebounds. Four of them coming from the offensive end. On the other end, it's stopping Lagrama, who leads the way with 8 points for Quezon. And LJ Gonzalez has 7. We do have a couple of players who are unable to play in this game as Muhammad misfires for Val City. Gabanal is still not yet in uniform. Judel Fuentes, as Gianna mentioned, is suspended off of that uh, last year Zamboanga incident in their last game. Who else? Uh, JR Kenyahan is not yet suited up for Valenzuela, but he is here in Palayan City. Well, I think I, I'm expecting Quezon to at least be doing something about the fast break points. That's highly unlikely of uh, how they play. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Slam dunk number one for Simon Sandagon. And that connection between Simon and RJ Minerva has been no less than impressive. At saka, dyan talaga nakakakuha ng puto sa Quezon. Half-court sets, very efficient. They just have to go back and defend against the fast break. To the other end we go, Darren Maliguez. Spin, tough shot, no basket, rebound, Matiliano. Quezon is down by 10. Here comes LJ Gonzalez on his first MPBL game, matched up against Val Chauka, a familiar foe. Two-man game with Minerva. There's the roll, RJ. Nice pass, Matiliano, Ooh. Wedgie. <laughs> The possession arrow points Quezon's way as we take a look at that previous sequence. What a find by RJ Minerva onto Simon Sandagon and in signature fashion, he taps the board after the jam. Right, that was primarily because of uh, Val Chauka leaving Simon Sandagon as he rolled back to that pass. And there's a foul on the floor. It's called on Muhammad. Alexander Muhammad uh, did not play in the first half. So it's good to see him here against Quezon. Simon Sandagon, eight on the shot clock. Double team, Minerva, short stab, too strong. Great effort by Cyrus Torres. One more chance. 51 41. LJ Gonzalez going right, sidestep. Nice feed on to Minerva. And Valenzuela right now is blitzing every time. Past that uh, two-man game, uh, leaving the numbers game in favor of uh, Quezon as they try to act, attack the back side of that defense. And those are the first points in the third quarter for Val City. CJ Payawal continues to shine. Tsaka yung mga made threes na yun, yun na nagpo-force na ma-stretch yung defense nitong uh, Quezon Huskers eh. Look at Payawal playing defense against Cyrus Torres with a lot of intensity. Mm -hmm. Once again, they blitz it. Now it's a numbers game. And Minerva, Minerva attacks it. He has been forced to make decisions here for Quezon. Yeah, right. That's right. Gonzalez, sidestep, the feed. Matiliano to the corner. Cyrus Torres, that's their best shooter on the floor. Yeah, and finally you get, you get to see another guard uh, scoring other than uh, Topeng Lagrama and LJ Gonzalez. On the other end, Ooh. Daryl Mandigas just went all the way for two. And that fast break continues to be a huge challenge for the Huskers. I mean, each and every time, Venezuela looking to run. 56-46, Minerva hands it off. Patiliano, 
No swipe. Domar could not finish. Rebound to Simon Sandagon. Scramble. And there's a kickball. That's by Sandagon. And you see, see, Payawal was a little bit frustrated because he knew he wanted to run the other end. Eh? He knows that they have numbers in as much as they blitz that defense. Look at this beautiful feed after getting outnumbered right there. This play of the game is brought to you by Buenas. LJ Gonzalez connecting with RJ Minerva. Nepalam onto Chauka for three-pointer number five. No, but he will shoot three free throws. Now Quezon is asking for a challenge. They want the charge instead. At some point from last season, these guys were teammates, right, in Bacolod? That is right. right? You are correct. Chauka and uh, Materiano. Alongside the Katimbuhans, yeah. the Alvises of the world. So, was that natural shooting motion for Val Chauka or was it a kick? We'll let our referees decide. Coach Eric Gonzalez really wanted that challenge from the get-go. Yeah. Again, the ruling is, if you have one unsuccessful challenge, you're done in terms of challenges in the day. If you have one successful challenge, then you have another challenge. Regardless, if the second one is successful or unsuccessful, that will be your last in the game. And sa ngayon yung nagagawa ng depensa rin kanina ng, ano eh, ng, uh, uh, ng offense, rather, ng, ng Val City. They try to make the shooters come from uh, inside and then go outside. And napo-force na masak in yung defense sa ilalim before they go out for those long closeouts. And so you have to pick your poison. Eh, kaya lang, ang mahirap dyan. Nakakashoot ng three points ang Valenzuela. So talagang susunod na po sila pag lumabas. But if you follow them outside, underneath, yung mga bigs naman, mas libre. So Val City did start scoring in the third quarter with another three-pointer, but it was courtesy of CJ Payawal. Okay, referee Jojo Benas just approached us to say the result. Why don't I let uh, Miguel Pere tell you <laughs> what their decision <laughs> is so that everybody can appreciate his beautiful voice. Upon review, the challenge was successful. There you go. There is no foul, resulting to a jump ball. Possession arrow, okay. pointing, Valenzuela passing, VA cargo. Well, City will retain possession off of that jump ball. Successful challenge, which means Coach Eric will have another later on should he decide to use it. I think he was pleading the case of a charge. Would you say? Yeah, I think because of the, the kick motion yeah. of uh, Val Chauka. So instead of a jump ball, he wanted possession for Quezon immediately. Mm -hmm. Well, Darren Maliguez is already getting ready to inbound the ball from the side. And, and Quezon's got to have other, other players score other than guards. Because right now, it's Topeng Lagrama and LJ Gonzalez leading the charge for them offensively. So you'd like to see the, the Minervas, you know, uh, score a little bit more. Oh, well, Sandagon is catching up. He already yep. has eight as Depala misfires. And here comes LJ Gonzalez. Open court, kick out Batiliano from the corner. That's a three. Well, that's the first fast break point for uh, Quezon right here. That's a three point fast break run. 10 to three in favor of uh, Val City in that department. Batiliano has five points. Gonzalez has three dimes. 12 on the shot clock. Maniguez backing down against the taller Matiliano. What a move by Darren Maniguez. Hindi tinigilan eh. Hindi makalapit. He kept digging and digging until he got to that spot that he was comfortable to shoot it from the post. Look at that. Domark really not giving up any, but you know, the mere fact that he keeps stepping back, lumapit yung court. This guy has such a nice story. What do you call the games in Mindanao? It's uh, near the city name of uh, Palayan City. Panalay. Mm -hmm. Panalay. Doon na nagsimula si Darren Maniguez maging kilala. And here he is, building so much confidence in the MPBL as Matiliano misfires. Minerva up top. LJ Gonzalez, two-man game with Simon Sandagon. The FEU connection back at it again. Switch. 
LJ dancing, the cross, the shot, and the miss. Forward pass, Le Palam on the foot race, and there was a hold. A foul by LJ Gonzalez. Yeah, if that situation doesn't tell you na immediately gusto nilang tumakbo, I mean, kahit na sino pang nandyan, even if that is Le Palam, we're gonna give it to you and go figure out how you score that fast break point. But he does have those huge strides going up against the quickness of LJ Gonzalez. Off of the foul, it's a baseline inbound. Darren Maniguez looking for a teammate. Bit of a risky pass. Nepalam able to get it. And here's CJ Payawan escaping and missing. Alam mo yan ang isa sa magandang ginagawa nito ng Val City kaya hindi masyado na ka fast break ito ng Quezon. Matiliano, same angle, different result. Rebound, Mike Mason. Yeah, the difference is that when when Quezon gets a defensive, oh, when. Val City gets a defensive rebound. Nakabantay ka agad eh. You know, Bal ooh. Chalka for three. Ooh. Too strong. And here's Domark Patiliano. Foot race. Domark all the way. That's one of the rarest time. Five pass break points all to Domark right here in this quarter. And in this game for Quezon. Seven points now for Matiliano. Mason tried to go back door. Here he is. Matched up against Simon Sandago. 12 on the shot clock. Mason turning around. Good defense by Simon. Tough shot, no basket. Rebound, Gonzalez. LJ has six boards in this game. He drives. There's a foul, and that's going to count. Ibang klase yun. Digdigan sa bungguan, pero still able to finish. And di lang natin isang best nakita yan, ha? maraming beses. Pangatlo na yan. Pangatlo na yan to, eh, di ba? Third basket and one play for LJ Gonzalez. He was literally getting pushed out of his comfort zone, but able to finish still. Before, he will shoot another free throw. Same thing as what happened in the second quarter. We have a timeout. 58-53, 5 minutes and 5 seconds remaining in the third frame. This is our second game for today. Val City versus schedule. last two games aminado si CJ Payawal na mas maganda ang performance ni ngayon bukod daw sa nantuto siya i-increase ang kanyang intensity from their first game against Zamboanga. Malaking tulong daw na matag matagal na niyang nakasama ang mga players sa Quezon dati kaya alam na daw niya ang tendencies niya now going against them. He said he's also having a lot of fun today because he gets to play with his former teammates again even sharing na they'll have a little conversation saying hi to each other on court and speaking of saying hi CJ also said something motivating him is that his family is watching live right now all the way from Chicago. Back to you guys. There you go. Big shout out to the whole Payawal family from Chicago, Illinois, the Windy City. I'm sure they are proud of how CJ is playing so far. Can he remain comfortable against Quezon as Val Chauka, the other former Husker, will miss from the interior? Counter, ball to coach Mike Perez. Oh, no. It's good. I'm so sorry for that reaction because the ball just went to our laptop here at the sideline. <laughs> coach Mike Medjo Mahal din yan. So, I hope that uh, everything's good. Good. As this fast break of the game is brought to you by New Star Win to the Max. Domark Matiliano able to score two points. Babanggitin ko pa naman sana kanina na pinag-usapan natin, may, parang may intel sila ang coaching staff ng Quezon. Yung parang may intel din si Payawal <laughs> sa mga yes. players ng Quezon. It goes either way. 58-54. RJ Minerva. On to side of Torres, given space. That's all he needs. But his shot was too strong. But it's important that he continues to take those shots. I mean, he's free after all. We just gotta make him. Tyro Torres is now two out of six from downtown. There's a foul by Mike Mason. Both teams are still not in the penalty. Sinusubukang 
start ng takbo ni Robin Ron yun eh. Uh, kaya lang napigilan siya. And so I was mentioning earlier, kaya mababa rin yung fast break nitong uh, Quezon is because every time nakaka-rebound sila, nakabantay kagad yung Val City sa rebounder. And so, hindi ma-outlet yung bola. That's the first uh, line of defense. Here's the Chavez has checked in to replace Ladis Lepalam. Boy, really good minutes here provided by Ladis Lepalam. Just happy for the guy. Let me check his plus minus as uh, Simon Sadagon just gave us that double cross kick out. Torres for three. Off to the left. Nice box out by Krista Chavez. Lepalam is a plus eight on the floor. But the guy with the best plus minus is Chris De Chavez, plus 15. Here he is, De Chavez from way out. That's short. Ball out of bounds. When you talk about catch and shoot, yeah, no, it's Chris De Chavez. <laughs> catch and shoot, yeah, because he always feels he's within his, his range, and rightfully so. And make baskets from there, just like how he did in that Pangasinan game. Another four minutes in the third quarter. Christian Buniag, handoff. Robin Ronio, his three-pointer. Too strong, rebound, Dennis Santos. 58-54, Santos, handoff, Dem de la Cruz. Almost a steal by Robin Ronio. Back to Dennis, face up, post up. Good defense by Torres. Yeah. Seven on the shot clock. Dennis Santos back at it. Step back. Three pointer. That's short. Rebound. Jason Apiso. Little BB Lipka for him to be able to take that shot amidst that uh, very sticky defense. Then he's still able to hoist it. Jason Apiso. Back, back door cut. Ooh, miscue between Jason and Robin Ronyo. Yeah, miscue yun. The, that, that zoom action when you have your corner guy lift on a dribble handoff. Medyo hindi nagustuhan rin ni Robin yung situation niya kasi nandun si Dennis eh. Even if he gets it, he's not gonna do anything about it. So it's important who's on the floor and where he is he and what he's gonna do about it. Down to the last three minutes of the third quarter. Back with Val City. Mike Machon working with Mem de la Cruz. Then on the shot clock, Ooh. Andre found an opening. Nice pass. De la Cruz from the corner. That's good. Twice that Quezon defense really broke down. First on that drive by Andre Armignon, that medal was all free. Secondly, he did locate the corner guy, and Armignon really just went and gave that pass to him. That was assist number four for Andre Armignon. Now there's a foul in the interior. LJ Gonzalez returns to replace Thomas Torres. It's yun na delicado pag ka mga dribble handoffs two man game na yun. Pag ni replace mo yung uh, initial ball creator on that spot, madalas libre yun. Exactly what happened earlier. Topping Lagraba against Dennis Santos. Quickness advantage. Topping dancing with Dennis. No basket. Here's the Chavez. Then De La Cruz. The cross. And then he lost the ball. Jason Opiso running with Robin Ronio. Cross court pass. What a feed. La Grama. Opiso is fouled. Now that's a typical Quezon pass break of we've normal, normally seen from the past. No? The difference really is that well, uh, well, like delay. There's a rebound. Now this lucky fan in the game is brought to you by Buenas. There you go. That's the kid who was doing a, <laughs> an individual shoot around at halftime just a while ago. For all we know, he might be a future MPBL star for That's Val right. City. Jason Apiso, second free throw is good. Last year, he was a double double machine for Marikina before transferring to the Quezon Huskers. Simon Sandagon checking in. He replaced. Christian Buniag, 61-56. Two minutes remaining in the third. Andre Armignon, Krista Chavez against Opiso. Then on the shot clock. Hand off, almost a steal for LJ. Yeah, they've been wanting to set up that post up between them and uh, LJ. They feel that they have a mismatch right there uh, with LJ on the low block. Sideline. Armignon driving baseline. There's the feed to the cutter. Mashon recovery, still no good. Another offensive rebound, but then Mashon lost the ball. I gotta push it here. 
No numbers for Quezon. There's the trailer of Piece of Fix. Kick out. LJ Gonzalez against Andre Arminion. LJ drives. LJ hangs. <laughs> Baskin and one. Oh my God. That is the fourth time that he's had a three point play opportunity. How about that move? Once again, he goes left, gets past RJ, got into contact and finished. And malalaki yung mamatay sa kanya eh, no? Once he gets to that uh, shot. I asked them, Kamusta? Just means MBBL. Sabi niya, Pare pareo lang naman basketball. <laughs> Pero, iba ibang kalaban mo. And that is one of the biggest challenges here in the MBBL. Imagine. You're facing 28 different teams in a span of a year. So that's a lot of studying to do. Uh -huh. Tendencies and all, no? Dami kailangan pag-aralan. 61-59. Arminion lost the ball. LJ on the run. Gonzalez will go all the way. And so far, it's been an all-LJ show here. Para sa Quezon Huskers. Tying the game at 61. 15 points for LJ Gonzalez. Six rebounds and three dimes as well. 61 all. Mike Mason. On to Andre Arminion. Dennis Santos against Robin Ronio. Dennis, size advantage. He exploits it. Well, we've noticed, and uh, Kanina, we talked about this. Every time Valenzuela goes on the post, they just allow that post to operate solo. How much more can you hold on to that? Because in a way, that's slowing down your game. Topping Nagrama on the other end. Up top, LJ Gonzalez. It's his show. LJ drives. LJ hung in the air, but then he missed the shot. Oh, oh wow. what a pass on the recovery. Robin Ronyo all day. Short rebound to Dagon, and there's the putback. There's a foul, a push. Should that have counted? Was that before the attempt? Referee John Belna says it was before the attempt. Mm -hmm. And it was against Quezon. Oh, it was on LJ. Three fouls on LJ. Now he's got to watch it. That's number three. Matiliano will return. 63-61. But what a third quarter this has been. This is a plus 10 quarter for Quezon. Really roughly on the efforts of uh, LJ Gonzalez. Actually, if you think about it, it was quite necessary because they were outscored by 13 in the second frame right? by Val City. And that's almost a turnover completed. Sandagon, Matiliano catching the ball and scoring for two. 63 all. And the fast break point has really caught up now with Quezon. Deadlock at 12 in terms of fast break scoring. Right. Four seconds remaining. There's a hold. It's actually 14, I guess, if you count that last basket by uh, Domar. At the half, it was 8-0. Right. It was 8-0 at the half. So it's 14 points altogether scored. And fast break by Kessel. Yeah, my bad. I added to the wrong team. So it's 14 to 10 in favor of the Huskers, not 12 all. Cyrus Torres checks in to replace Domark Matiliano. 3.8 remaining before the end of the third. Baseline inbound for Val City. Coach Aldrin Morante is trying to demo something to Christy Chavez. They're trying to go directly here to them. Here's De La Cruz popping out. That's a foul. Mm. Wow. And Coach Eric wants to challenge again. Remember, he did have a successful challenge earlier oh. in this quarter. He has another one, which would be his last challenge. Mm -hmm. But it seems like he'll let this go. And again, babalik adun kasi sa mga made threes nila kanina. Eh, no? you, you don't want to end this quarter with another made three for, for Val City. They, they're what? 20, uh, 100%, 36% from three. Nine out of 25. Kaya mapupuwersa ka talaga mag-long close out. Well, you did see Nem de la Cruz trying to set himself free mm -hmm. with a lot of physicality against Cyrus Torres. Dalawa actually option niya dun eh. Direct, direct na post up sa kanya. If not, he passes through the elevator for that three. And since wala yung initial post up, sinubukan sa elevator. 
Two out of two for Nem de la Cruz. We still have another substitution here. Topping Negrama with 2.4 seconds remaining. We have four guards and a forward on the floor for coach Eric Gonzalez. You gotta watch out for Cyrus here. Torres is at the corner. Topping Negrama. Pushing the ball forward. And that is short on his three-point attempt. After three quarters of play, this game is separated by only one possession, 65 to 63. And we kind of expected that, that it was going to be a much faster third quarter for uh, the Quezon Huskers, led by this guy right here, LJ Gonzalez, really just going to the rack. He had kept on attacking that, whether manned or not, he was making sure that he was going to finish right off the rack. This end of the third quarter score is brought to you by Game X, the official online ending partner of the MBBL, the first and original online basketball ending sa Pinas. Happy ending na. Hashtag Game X Sports. Presenting our Suzuki muscular and sporty fans of the game, just like the Avenis, do more and achieve more. The muscular and sporty scooter from Suzuki, the Avenis, oras na para magmotor. So it's good to see some fans from Quezon City present here in Palayan City because later on we are expecting this venue to be jam packed with Novo Esihanos. Uh -huh. And why not? Mebay siya yung kalaban mo, you know. You want to give all the support that you can to your Quezon City team. Thank you for joining us. Currently, we have the Quezon Huskers taking on the Valenzuela Classic squad. This is Mix Gomez at your service alongside Coach Mike Perez and Gianna Llanes for your MPBL Saturday before we proceed to Binyan Laguna on Monday. That's a nice team to also look forward to. Oh, yeah. That place is going to be packed on Monday. That's for you. sure. That's for sure. Tomark Matiliano will work with LJ Gonzalez, Simon Sandagon, Cyrus Torres, and Jason Opiso. Quarter scoring. The uh, really best quarter so far for Quezon, that, that third one where they really ramped up their fast break game. 24 and 14, that's a plus 10. And that uh, the uh, scoring that allowed them to close this gap even further. Nice pass. Arminion to Chris De Chavez for three. Isa talaga sa pinakadelikado, yung trailer mo, shooter. And if you get that defense sucked in on a try for a layup, that trailer is going to be a really good option to score. That's three threes already in this game for Chris De Chavez coming off the bench. Kickball. Kita na kagad ni Chris De Chavez yung role ni ano, eh, Opiso. Eh. Let's see the replay. Here's the trail job. Yep. And Andre Armenon knew what he was about to do all along. Chaka scramble yung defense. Eh. Walang nakakover kanin kahit kanino eh. 68-63. Opiso, he has that shot. Too strong. Good tap by Matiliano. Here's LJ Gonzalez. Two-man game with Jason Opiso. Gonzalez going left. Gonzalez. There's the feed. Opiso. Ooh. And what's the call? It's gonna count. That was a really good drive right there by uh, LJ Gonzalez, but I'm even more impressed by the quick passing of uh, Simon Sandago. And look at here. Quickly locates Opiso inside for that finish. Ooh, that's what Val City is trying to plead. That it was a charge instead of a foul by Nem de la Cruz. All right. Opiso converts. Five points now for Jason. Now, if you're guessing, you gotta go back and defend here. 68-64, Andre Armignon working with Jerry Diego and Chris De Chavez. De Chavez drives. Oh, that was a clear out. They were, again, they were late twice covering that defense. First on that pin down, and then on that drive uh, lane side. No drop coverage at all. 
Two possession game. Simons and Dagon. Backdoor for LJ. To no avail. Here's Cyrus Torres. Eight on the shot clock. The pull up and the make. Ibang klase talaga pag kayo lumalabas sa zoom action yung corner mo and he's a real fuel shooter. I mean, you sag off of him, he's gonna take that elbow jumper. Just like what Tor Torres did. Same play here. Eight points now for Cyrus Torres. Andre Arminion trying to shake off LJ Gonzalez. Andre. On to Diego. Up top, the Chavez. Four on the shot clock. Chris fires. Way off. Not good movement at all for, for Val City. It's just the three guys upstairs that were, you know, trying to make available themselves. You have Denis Santos in the corner. Look at this one. One dribble pull up, just getting past Denis Santos. And Torres really swishing that one. Gonzalez escapes. Sorry, Mr. LJ. Up top. Back to the corner. LJ Gonzalez. Bounce pass. Nice feet to Opiso. Another sorry miss. Recovery for Quezon. Gonzalez misses again, but there was a foul. Yeah, they're not frustrated. Sila, eh. You know, very makeable shots. Yun, eh. All the three attempts that were made by Quezon were all makeable shots. They just couldn't connect. Alice de Palam now returns to be the interior protector for Val City on the other end. RJ Minerva checks in for Simon Sandagon. Topping Lagrama is getting ready to replace LJ Gonzalez. And Sir Bon Cuevas is also getting ready to support his Devay Sia Rice Vanguards. This free throw is brought to you by Extreme Appliances, ang subok at kompleto appliance brand ng Pilipinas. And I'm sure any moment soon we're gonna have Payawal back on the floor. He's just getting some more rest. They're up to. And we'll, we'll hopefully he's got uh, enough rest already to come back with the same energy. Gonzalez goes one out of two from the stripe. He's four out of six in total. 66%. Agrama now returns. 70 to 69. There you go. CJ Payawal is now at the scorer's table. Armenion to De La Cruz. Good denial. The Chavez against Opiso. Here's Ladis. Seven on the shot clock. Andre Arminion. Where will they go? Ooh. The cross. Arminion stops and feeds. And to beat the buzzer. That's no good. And it was actually late for Nem de la Cruz. Well, that play took too long to develop. I feel that's really how they wanted that, to, to try and use as much clock as they can before going for that attempt. As much as we've been praising Ar Andre Arminion for his assists, do you think it's becoming a bit of a problem as well? Should he be shooting more shots? Yeah, I think. You know, if he had a tira at that time, just like that last one, should have gone for that attempt. 70 to 69, Lagrama all day. No good. Ball tapped. And recovered by Quezon. Cyrus Torres, a better shooter. Same result. Another offensive rebound. Cyrus Torres. On to Robin Ronyon. Then on the shot clock, topping the grabber. Off of some switches, topping, driving, feeding. Here, Cyrus. History is no good. Rebound, Dennis Santos. In all those offensive rebounds, they kept on searching for Torres in the corner or in the wing three. Couldn't find him. Arminion now goes to Denis Santos. Then De La Cruz, defended by Robin Ronio. Seven on the shot clock. CJ Payawal for three. That is good. Wow. Got a good game here for CJ. Coming off that stagger on the weak side. Somewhere out there in Chicago, Illinois, one house is noisy All right. with screaming fans off of the family by CJ Payawal. 73-69. Under six minutes to go. Andre Arminion. Dennis Santos drives. He lost the ball. That's a turnover. Chauka has returned. Same goes for Simon Zandagon. Oh, let's go back to Gianna Lianis. 
malaking bagay daw ang halftime discussion ng Quezon Huskers para ma-increase ang intensity nila noong third quarter. Not defeated pero motivated daw ang kopuna ni Coach Eric dahil sila mismo ang nakaka-point out kung saan sila nagkukulang which led to them limiting their turnovers to just one last quarter. Now to get this win, one thing is on the Quezon Huskers' mind. The desire to get that ball. Tinunong pa nga ni Robin Ronyo ang kanyang teammates sa huling huddle kung kaya pa nila which everyone said na wala pa silang nararamdaman na pagod. Back to you guys. There you have it. They want to put in the energy, the desire in these last few minutes. But Gianna also pointed out the clean play for them in the previous quarter. That's one good combination that Quezon would want to achieve. Yeah, and yung kasi yung glaring, eh. those 10 turnovers that they gave up actually led to the 11 points of uh, Val City, which uh, created that separation in the second quarter and at the half. Halfway done in the final frame, Andre Armignon, Val Chauka, five on the shot clock. He spins. Tough shot, no conversion. Battle inside, one by Quezon. They're down by four. Thomas Torres. Pass inside, Minerva fakes, Minerva spins. No basket, Payawal with yet another board. That's his ninth. I think that 10 rebounds for Payawal. Yeah, and yet another makeable shot at them for, for Quezon Oscars. Uh, how many times have you seen those guys finish that close and Minerva couldn't at that moment? Andre Arminion, two man game with Dennis Santos. The spin, the fade. No basket, and here comes Quezon. Thomas Torres using the screen. Torres staying patient, no foul. Good defense by Lepalam. Jump ball in favor of Val City. And really, there's nothing that he, he could do. I mean, Lepalam had his hands up. He was head above shoulders taller than him. Advantage talaga yung Val City. There's Gladys Lepalam matched up against RJ Minerva. But I'm sure in the mind of uh, Coach Aldin Morante, hindi pa tapos to kasi ganito ng ganito yung game namin against Pangasinan, and so we have to stay the course and execute. We're only one by one, and here's CJ Payawal against Robin Ronyo. That's a push, no foul called. Sandagon on the move. Simon passes. RJ Minerva is fouled. Two free throws. And that's what you like about your big men. You know, as soon as you get that defensive board, if you can run it, then go run it. And, you know, find the open guys out there in the open. Let's see the replay. This connection has worked all night long right. for the Huskers. Right, agree. Between Minerva and Sandagon. So Simon is trying to return the favor onto RJ. There was the foul. Nerva will be tested at the strike. Yeah, this will be his first two free throws. Yeah, the difference talaga, I was gonna say on that finish by uh, RJ. Iba talaga yung naka one two step na finish eh, as opposed to, you know, yung patira ka nakagad. Remember, you have that zero step that would allow you to, you know, slow it a little bit. And so you see what the defense comes up. And so you can decide you still have two more steps. First free throw converted by RJ Minerva. It's now a one possession game. There's coach Eric Gonzalez on his first game back in the MPBL. Fresh off of a BSL championship. Second free throw, that bounces in for Minerva. Six points for RJ. 73-71, with four minutes to go. Daniel Manliguez looking for a teammate. He's in trouble. Good defense by Matignano, yeah. and that's five seconds. Yeah, good defense right there. Well, I'm sure he knows that not to pick up that dribble at that spot on the floor. That's a trap area, and you're not supposed to be staying in there for so long. But then again, you have your teammates that's supposed to make themselves available for a pass. They have a timeout. It's a two-point game here in Palayan City.
Back inside the Nueva Ecija Coliseum in Palayan City. It's Val City versus Quezon. 73-71. Valenzuela looking good. 3 minutes and 41. But now LJ Gonzalez will have a chance to tie this game or even get the lead. There's that matchup versus Darrell Banligas. LJ, the top scorer for Quezon in this game. Going left, kick out, Batiliano. That's his spot, short. Rebound, Chauka. That was a good set, though. Set up uh, Domark. Either Domark or LJ finish. Chauka drives. Tough finish. That's two free throws. Nothing extracurricular here. Uh -huh. We all know that those two are friends after all in Chauka and Gonzalez. Uh -huh. And that's the fourth foul of LJ Gonzalez, which might be the bigger concern for Quezon. Yeah, and there's still three minutes uh, remaining. I'm sure they're not going to pull him out now. Again, there's no Judel Fuentes in this game. No Gabanal as of yet for Quezon as well. It's only LJ that's in double digits right now for Quezon. Who's next? Matiliano and La Grama with 9 and 8 respectively. Mm -hmm. On the other end, Chauka has 13 already behind CJ Payawal's 16. 2 out of 2 for Val Chauka. And La Grama's been scoreless so far in the second half. He had 8 in the first. 75-71, a two-possession game. Mandiguez tried to cover Gonzalez. LJ drives, LJ misses. And here comes Taril Mandiguez. His quickness on display. Manliguez could not get the foul. To the other end we go. Domark Matiliano kick out. LJ. Nice feed. Minerva will score. Well, a lot of patience in that execution. Didn't attack immediately. Tried to swing that defense first before attacking middle. And a good trail job by RJ Minerva. Now you got to go back and defend. Valchauka lost the ball. That's a steal for LJ. His second in this game. Gonzalez onto the trailer. Minerva with a layup. Well, RJ Minerva is really so much faster than Denis Santos and uh, Lepalam in that situation, so nobody on him. No one checking. RJ is now in double figures. 75 all. CJ Payawal. Tough pass. Santos for three. No good. A chance to get the lead for Quezon. Now this boils down to a half-court set. You've been really good executing here. Pure Quezon. Approaching the last two minutes. LJ Gonzalez. Blitzed. Minerva on the drive. Nice pass. Sandagon will finish. These last two minutes are brought to you by GameX, the official online ending partner of the MPBL. The first and original online basketball ending sa Pinas. Happy ending na. Hashtag GameX Sports. And for the most part, every time na nag-blitz sila, yun na yung trigger ng attack nila. And so once you get two on the ball, you got that drive by Minerva and that good finish right there by Simon. What a game for RJ Minerva. 10.6 rebounds, three times. Nine knee changes, four deadlocks. Quezon up top. A minute and 42. Nice feed by Yawal is fouled. And will the referees review this? Could it be an unspo? And clearly, uh, Domark got beat right there. Uh, he was trying to front against the, a bigger Payawal with no help side on the low, low, low part of uh, Payawal. They really wanted to throw it to him. CJ is okay. That is a big thing for Val City. After all, he's been the top gun with 16 points and 10 rebounds in 22 minutes of play. Highly efficient with a good plus minus as well. All right. So we're not going to let you wait anymore. It is going to be an unsportsmanlike foul for Simon Sandagon. What an opportunity here for Val City. So far in the free throws, they're 10 of 14. Actually, really good percentage para sa dalawang teams na to. 10 of 14 for Val City and 11 of 13 for uh, Quezon. And Payawal is 2 out of 2 so Upon far review, from the stripe. At Sportsman-like foul on number 5, Simon Sandagon. 
That's his second foul, third team foul when he gets on Hoskins. Magiging test lang dito kay CJ. Will that impact have, you know, something to do on, on his free throw as he take, makes this attempt? Let's see what happened. Where was he hit? It's by the side of the head. Did you see yeah, it? Yeah, by the side of the head. Right. Yung right, I think it's yung right arm. He was really just trying to help out because it beats you. I see Doa Mark. Right. He was fronting and somebody's got to help on, on the other end. Two free throws and ball possession for Val City. The first attempt is good for CJ Payawal. You know, with the absence of Oren Katakutan, I did wonder if somebody else could have uh, his magic bunut game uh -huh. here in the MPBL, which means that it is his time to shine. Mm -hmm. Good for CJ Payawal. He's able to maximize the opportunity presented onto him. And it means another dependable guy for Coach yes. Alden Morante in the next games. 100 seconds remaining, tied at 77. Andre Arminion against Domark Matiliano. Six on the shot clock. Andre will drive. Arminion fades away. No good. Rebound, Gonzalez. LJ on the move, numbers for Quezon, Gonzalez, kick out, Matiliano, Torres for three, oh, that's man. good! Talk about system basketball, mix. twice crucial plays, had an initial point of attack, swung that ball, trusted that system, until that ball found the guy that's least guarded, in this case, Torres. He did mention if you're side of Torres, you should just keep on going. Right. Keep on shooting. He's attempted nine threes, making three in this matchup. But you never know, that might just be the difference in this whole ball game. Cyrus Torres, on his first MPBL game, has already scored 11, making three three-pointers. This is actually a new addition for the Quezon Huskers. But then again, because of that FEU connection, mm -hmm. there hasn't been too much of adjustment for him coming into the squad. 80 seconds remaining, 80-77. Payawal working with Arminion. Nine on the shot clock. Andre escapes, and he scores two plus one. Well, recognition right there. Understands that RJ Minerva on me. I'm Andre Armignon. I'm a little bit faster than you, and I can finish right through contact. Little in and out twice right there. Got past the defense, claimed that space, went glass for that finish. And finally, Andre is able to score. He's been trying yeah. here and there. Saka previous to this, nakadalawang dribble attempt na siya, eh, no? Uh, the fade but he missed shots. Uh, twice on that. And so, it's, uh, you know, forget the, the, the fade away shots. I'm going to go for the layup. He's two out of six on the floor. Four, five, and seven are his numbers. A miss from the strike, though. Quezon still on top. LJ Gonzalez. 16 points, seven rebounds, five assists. That cle they cleared out that left side of the floor again for LJ to operate on. Two-man game. Gonzalez goes. Gonzalez up top. Nine on the shot clock. He will dance with Chauka. Gonzalez will drive. Gonzalez with the feed. Minerva is blocked. RJ recovers and he scores. And we have a timeout for Val City. 
And LJ continues to be creating for, for the Quezon Huskers. You saw that three-pointer earlier by Torres. That pass actually came from the pass by LJ, which initiated it. This time around, it was Minerva recovering after that pass by LJ. What a game as well for RJ Minerva. Right. An all-around performance, and he's coming up in the clutch as well. All right, it's 82, 79, 51 seconds remaining. Obviously, this is still a lot of time. Oh, yeah. La Luna para sa Valenzuela because this is very similar to how that Pangasinan game went. Uh, very close in the uh, final minute or so until, you know, that really good defensive stop against Michael Mabulak down low in the final six seconds. This is the last time out for Val City. While Quezon still has two on the other end. And lest we all forget, there's still a Denis Santos who can hit shots from the outside. And he was the hero in that game against Tapanga Sinan. And I wouldn't be surprised if they go to that same play again for, for uh, Val City. If you think about it, Andre Armiñon has four shooters here. That's Payawal, right. Chauca, Santos, and De Chavez. All right, now you're seeing the numbers of RJ Minerva. 12 points, 7 rebounds, and 3 assists. Second chance scoring, a plus 6 for the Quezon Huskers on their first game in the sixth season of the MPBL. Chauka inbounds to Arminion. Andre found Ooh, an wow. opening. He's blocked by Simon Sandagon. Now, Val City, off of this previous sequence, will have another chance. Great help defense by Simon Sandagon. Baseline inbound for Andre Arminion. Block story 3 to 0 in favor of the Huskers. Nice feed. A sorry miss for Chauka, but there was a foul. And that's number 5, I guess, on LJ. If that's, that's right. On LJ. He's done. Coach Eric will challenge. He's begging for that challenge. Might as well do it. But will the referee Jojo Belnas grant that challenge for Coach Eric? We did mention if your first challenge was successful, then you're allowed one more. This would be the last challenge for Coach Eric Gonzalez. This is his attempt to retain his star on the floor. Yeah. And so far, he's been the one making things possible, uh, initiating the offense technically para dito sa Quezon on Huskers. Dribble penetrations, kickouts, and finding open men underneath. Found Minerva, found Torres. Paul Motiliano for that kick on the other end. But how about your baseline out of bounds there? Oh, yes. Left-handed player on the left side of the floor just offering a hand as a target for a pass. Chauka actually could have gotten a chance to tie this game up. Yes, if yes. That shot went in. Mm -hmm. Credit Andre Armenon for the find and Chauka for the seal as well. There's still a lot of time. This is 45 seconds left with nine on the shot clock. 45 seconds equals an eternity oh, yeah. so, so far for us. Jojo Bellas already told us that the challenge is successful for Coach Eric Gonzalez. So, LJ stays. LJ stays, jump ball again. Let's listen in. Upon review, the challenge was successful, resulting to a jump ball. There you possession go. arrow pointing. And Quezon will get possession. Oh, wow. What a big time turnaround. Let's see the replay. Foul or not, you be the judge. Yeah. Oh, yeah, not so much. Wait for it. Wala oh, nga. Wala talaga. LJ was moving away from Val Chauka. Yeah. Because I saw earlier on that shot at wala talaga. I thought it was downstairs. So when I saw that, wala. The most important thing is that LJ is still on the floor. 82-79, side of Stores. Off of the inbound. 21-second differential. Payawal guarding Gonzalez. 
14 seconds. The former FEU star working with RJ Minerva. Eight seconds, Gonzalez will drive. LJ kicks out, Cyrus Torres for three. That's good. Welcome to the MPBL, LJ Gonzalez and Cyrus Torres. 26 seconds. 85-79. Andre Armignon, Val Chauka, driving left. Chauka, tough pass, and that is a turnover for Val City. And boy, that connection of uh, LJ Gonzalez really wanting to execute that last set para di sa, sa Quezon Huskers. And once again, it's the patient hands of uh, Torres right there, the recipient of this beautiful feed by LJ Gonzalez. It's not a problem at all, even if Cyrus Torres is a recent addition for the Quezon Huskers. That chemistry is already at years between those two, Torres and Gonzalez. 14 seconds to go. And it seems like, oh, there you go. A foul given up by Andre Armignon. And the gusto mo dito is si LJ Gonzalez is not actually picking up that dribble. He's keeping that dribble alive, waiting for what the defense is gonna do. And soon as the breakdown comes, he goes and attack and makes his decision. That was the last foul to give for Val City. To your point, LJ is used to these clutch moments. He was the star of FEU. You can see it. Yeah. He's not nervous at all. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. The guy's so composed. And if your coach Eric Gonzalez, with Cyrus now rising up to the occasion, I mean, you still don't have Judel on the floor. Yes. No Gabbanal as well. No Gabbanal as well. Oh, man. And we haven't even seen Will Gozum mm -hmm. for the longest time. I wonder what happened to him. And there's also Prince Rivero, mm -hmm. Lander Cannon. There's, there's so much firepower in that team. Gonzalez converts from the stripe. LJ has 18 points in this game. It seems like he will finish with that tally as Chauka scores two points. Four seconds remaining. Sandagon will still be fouled. This is a nice welcome back to the MPBL for the Quezon Huskers. So Gianna did mention they only had two days of rest mm -hmm. after winning the championship in the PSL versus Neva Isia. Do they seem like they're gassed at all or not? I don't think so. I think they're riding, they're riding a lot on the adrenaline of uh, the title that they just got. But it was, I think it was Minerva or, or Simon who blocked that layup attempt earlier by uh, Andre Armagnon. That play was huge. Sandagon converts from the stripe. We're just waiting for the final score. Three seconds, Armignon will still fire. That's no good. And so the Kazan Huskers get their first win of the season. 88 to 81. What a finish. Yeah, and for, for two straight quarters after the, at the turn of the half, 20 plus points each quarter para dito sa Kazan enough to close out uh, Val City. Specifically, it's a total of 49 points in the second half for them compared mm -hmm. to the 30 of Valenzuela. What a turnaround. And now we present to you our best player of the game brought to you by Buenas. This was no question. Yeah, no Mike. question. No question. You know, he, he, he contributed in a lot of ways, hurt Valenzuela in more than one situation. All those passes, including this one, which really sealed this win for the Huskers. What more can you ask for from LJ? And he did not foul out. That was yeah. a good challenge by Coach Eric Gonzalez. Again, welcome to the MVVL, Mr. LJ Gonzalez. This final score is brought to you by GameX, the official online ending partner of the MVVL, the first and original online basketball ending sa Pinas. Happy ending na. Hashtag GameX Sports. It is 88 to 81 in the second game of your MVVL Saturday. And things will just Keep on getting better for the Huskers as they course through the season. Now let's go to Gianna Llanes. Our best player of the game is LJ Gonzalez of the Quezon Huskers. He had 18 points. Congratulations. Alam mo yung lead nyo hindi yun nakuha until the last few minutes of the game. Ano yung nakapag-motivate sa inyo na wag talaga sumuko until those final few minutes? 
Uh, Unang-una, nagpapasalamat kami kay God kasi nakuha namin yung panalo. And sobrang happy kami na nakuha namin yung panalo. And yung nag-motivate sa amin talaga, laging nire-remind sa amin ni Coach Eric yung defense and finish strong. And yung effort namin kasi uh, galing kami sa ano, uh, championship. So ma- malaking uh, bagay din yung uh, pass namin na kalaban namin yung UBC. And this is actually your first win of the season. So, paano nyo dadali na itong championship mentality para tuloy-tuloy na ang panalo for the rest of the season? Uh, siguro pagtatrabawan namin dito hanggang sa dulo and lagi lang kaming stay hungry and uh, underdog mentality. And I'm sure you have a lot of supporters na proud na proud sa kupunan nyo ngayon. Sino ang gusto mong pasalamatan, LJ? Uh, binabati ko nga pala yung family ko sa Isabela, yung mama ko, yung papa ko, and yung kapatid ko. And yung buong San Mateo and yung girlfriend ko sa Kalokan, si Kay Sungkuya and yung kapatid niya, Kit Sungkuya and family niya. And pinabati ko nga pala yung mga boss namin sa Quezon City, sila Boss Hardy, sila Gov Helentan, si mga coach, sa mga teammate ko. And at, yun lang. Congratulations to our best player of the game, LJ Gonzalez. And our best player of the game is brought to you by Buenas. Back to you, Migs and Coach Mike. Thank you, Gianna. What an opening performance for LJ Gonzalez in the MBBL. And one can only wonder how he can continue to improve even with the arrivals of Judel Fuentes and Cap Banal for the Huskers in the MPBL. Up next, we have Nevaisia defending its home court for the first time in the season against Quezon City. Thank you for joining us. For Jan Alianis and Coach Mike Perez, my name is Mix Gomez. At magbabalik pa po ang Mahardiga Pilipinas Basketball League, ang Liga ng Bawat Pilipino.